when we were founded, we were founded to show the love of Christ to anyone who needs it. And we've maintained true to that foundation. And we love everybody always. We are not discriminatory at all. We don't care what your religion is, what your color is, what your sexual orientation is. Our job is to love you judgment-free and help you however you need it. 60 years ago, we were founded by a group of Christian business leaders in the Oklahoma City area that saw a need for homeless services. And we started off as a soup kitchen. And um, I think they had 24 cots maybe, and they would call it soup, soap and salvation. And so as time went on, they realized that was not the only thing that they needed um, to transform lives. And so we've started adding programs through the times and adapting to change. And today we provide so much more. We provide an end to their homelessness. Everybody becomes homeless for very different reasons. Um, some could have drug or alcohol addictions. Some could have just lost a job. So it's just life-changing circumstances that no one can predict and no one expects. Home lives that um, most of us could never imagine. And they've never experienced an unconditional, judgment-free love. And at City Rescue Mission, that's what we want to provide. We want them to know that we love them no matter what their mistakes are. We don't look at that past. We look at their future and how amazing and bright and glorious it can be. It's really hard for a person to focus or repair their spiritual needs when they're hungry, when they're cold, when they're not safe. So our immediate goal is to provide them food, nutrition, make sure they're healthy, make sure they have a safe, warm place to live. And then you can watch the spiritual transformation happen. You don't have to force them to church or force them to Bible study for them to start feeling and seeing the love of Christ in their lives. We have a program for almost everybody. Um, we start off with your short term. If you just need safe, temporary housing, we're that facility for you. So we have our vocational program. If you have somebody who just needs a job or needs vocational training um, that are going to school, uh, we will provide that safe housing while they're working on bettering themselves. And then we have a recovery program. That recovery program is for anybody that's experiencing um, an addiction to drugs, gambling, alcohol, um, or just a new way of thinking. And then um, specialized services program, we have a lot of increased elderly that can't afford housing uh, or we're in a housing situation where they were being taken advantage of and abused. We will keep them safe until we can find a more suitable living environment for them. So when COVID-19 started, we had a, almost 500 people living in our shelters. Um, it's virtually impossible to socially distance 500 people. So um, we decided quickly that we had to move people into housing. So we've cut our capacity down. We're serving about 200 a night, but we've housed almost 200 people as well. If you're a homeless individual and you have nowhere to live, um, if you test positive for COVID-19, you have no safe place to socially isolate. Um, so they were going back out into camps, back into congregate living facilities, um, and as contagious as this disease is, it spreads quickly. So City Rescue Mission, uh, we are the largest homeless shelter in the region of the United States, so we decided that it was more feasible for us to set apart part of our facility to help serve those. So we do have a COVID positive wing or two wings now. We have staffed them with nursing staff. Fortunately, none of our own clients have had to access it, but we know it's probably only a matter of time. We want to meet the needs of everybody that comes through our doors. We're not state funded, we're not federally funded. Uh, we don't even have city dollars. And so every dollar that comes in essentially transforms a life. Last year alone, we served 5,000 unique individuals. Donors are changing lives that are not the same lives they changed last month or the month before. It's a continual cycle of new individuals that need help. And without them, City Rush Commission wouldn't be here. It's important um, to so many thousands of lives that's been changed over the past 60 years.